Welcome back guys, CryptoFly channel. Today we would like to talk about orders. Limit, market, stop and OCO orders. Let's dive in. I will not show you the theory, so I will show you on real example on a Binance basically in real time. So this is a Stark net use the T trading pair and it's a terminal on a Binance on the spot trades. Orders on futures, it's kind of difference and i will make it totally another video so we got a limit order market order stop limit order and oco order trailing stop order is pretty similar to stop limit order but with the uh, percentage differences pretty similar interface on all exchanges so if you trade on okx or on a bybit absolutely in uh, the same way so let's start with the limit order i got a round number like ten dollar just for example this is an order book to sell and this is an order book to buy. The price in the middle, this is just an average price, uh, what we can see now in the market, on the spot. So on, once again, on the futures, the price can be kind of different. Here's a note from uh, Binance. So this token is subjected to high volatility. So do your own research. It means, for example, you wanna place the order like $1, three cents and five, but it's a high volatile asset and maybe this order will be filled uh, at one dollar and three cents because we can see some uh, crazy moves right in one candle so just in case because of liquidity on different exchanges so how to work with limit orders i will activate here the orders order settings so you will see visualization how it works for example i think on 15 minute time frame i want to buy the stark net only if the price will drop to this uh, ema line so it's one dollar two cents nine it's my condition so i put my limit order and choose the amount of stark net i can choose like 25 percent 50 percent 75 or 100 percent like you can see 100 percent of my money i will spend at one dollar at two cents nine and I will buy 9.71 StarkNet coins. And I will spend not $10. I will spend like $9.99159 because of fee. For each order which you place, no matter it's buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, every single time when you place the order and it's filled, you pay the fee. So let's place the order. Buy. So this is a condition at $1.2.9 my order will be filled if the price will touch this order. I can drag and modify the price. So I don't wanna place the order to this level, like $1.02 round number. Order confirmation. So I adjust my order. Yes, don't show this again. Confirm. Here, my order adjusted. You can scroll it down and find out uh, this one open orders. So this is a date, trading up here, type, limit order, buy, price, I can modify even here. This is the amount of money what I would like to spend. Maybe you will change your mind. Place the order to this one. 5.5 StarkNet. Confirm. Confirm. This showing us the fill percentage. Yes, the pounds of liquidity on exchanges, sometimes the price can drop to your order, touch, but just with tiny weak candle and a bounce immediately, right? So maybe there will be not enough liquidity to fill 100% of your order at that price what you uh, put it here. That's the point. And you can cancel all orders if you add a, a few of them here, or you can cancel uh, only this one. So let's cancel. If you wanna buy by market, what does it mean by market? By market, it means exactly at that second when you press buy, in average, the order will be filled. For example, we can see some high volatility on the market, right? And you can see now at this current uh, moment, it's six. When you press buy, but in that second, in that moment, uh, because you can track even on one second time frame, this one. So this is a one second uh, candles. Maybe we'll see some news on the market. Maybe some uh, something happened on, on a Bitcoin, right? And we crash it down or pump it so high right exactly at that second your order will be filled just in average not maybe it's a one dollar three cents six maybe it's a one dollar uh three cent uh, nine 
So just in case. So this is a market order. I can press, uh, let's say like 50%. I want to spend 50% by market order, by Stark. Done. Here we got available StarkNet. When you get a coins, you can place the order to sell by market or by limit orders. So let's take a look how to work with limit orders to sell. We place the order. So I would like to sell my StarkNet at, for example, $1.05 this one so i place the limit order to sell this one fill it the full amount of some percentage and press sell start net so this will be the our trigger order to sell if the price make reversal move and the coin will be sell it at this price in profit for example if you bought a coin here you are already comfortable to sell it immediately now you can choose the market order, choose amount of tokens and press sell StartNet by market order. Let's take a look how to work with stop limit orders. We choose stop limit and we give a condition. So if the price drop to $1.03, this one, $1.03, I would like to buy StartNet, for example, at $1.02.9 uh, and for example, amount of StartNet press buy here if the last price drops or will be below one dollar and three cents and order to buy this amount of starknet or any other coins at the price of one dollar two cents nine will be placed it continue this one so this is a limit order to buy we can close it also if you're not sure your order will be filled right at a lower price you can add the higher price so for example like this one because depends of liquidity on the market depends of your size of uh, your order right uh, maybe your order will be not filled by the lower price the same way we can place the order to sell so for example we already bought it here and i would like to press uh, the order and the trigger to sell at so when the price reach like one dollar uh four cents nine I want to sell at uh, I'm ready to sell at one dollar zero four eight full amount of stock net this one press sell if the last price rises to or will be above one dollar zero point forty nine and order to sell this amount of stock net at the price of one dollar zero point forty eight will be placed so this is a trigger price and the condition at what price we would like to sell it got it when you place order when you place order and the cancel it you will not pay the fee next order is oco orders for example we stay now at one dollar three cents six and i don't know are we going up or down for example but we can place the order for both case scenario it's really helpful because uh, you will not miss the chance to buy in any cases some of your orders will be triggered for example i want to see the price drop to one dollar 23 one dollar 0 0.23 this one i place the order so it means when the price drop to one dollar 0 0.23 this one my order will be triggered and fill it but if something happen and the price will continue move way way higher I will be ready to buy a little bit higher, but I will not miss the right. I will be ready to buy at $1.041 and the limit order will be a little bit higher, like 42. Place buy start net. So we got a two orders. So if the price drop to this block, I will buy it. If the price pump, I will buy it also and I will not miss the right. So that's the case if this order will be triggered for example first one this will be automatically cancelled maybe in a lifetime we're gonna see this one got it stop loss limit by order fill it and we bought our stock net now take a look how to use OCO order to sell we just bought stock net for example at one dollar and four four cents and I would like to sell stock net at one dollar five and four so i place my order to sell so i'm ready to sell at this order if the price will move higher but i want to add the condition if something happened you know and the price will make reversal move down 
I want to minimize my stop loss and my losses. That's why this is a my take profit target. I can add even like six cents, for example, higher or even higher. But I add my stop loss. If the price will drop 0 0.035, I will be ready to sell at 0 0.034, for example. And yes, I will be in some losses, but I protect myself if the price will crash much, much lower. So in any cases, or I will fix a profit at this target, or I will get some tiny stop loss, but I will be safe. And I press sell StarkNet. This one. This is our take profit line. So we bought at $1.04. Order will be filled if we hit $1.06. I will be in profit. If next candle, for example, we will see down move, my stop loss will be triggered, my limit order will be triggered, and I will sell in some losses. But anyway, I will be in safe position. Like you can see when you open the OCO orders, you get a two orders at the same time. Guys, I hope you like this video. Share this content with your friend. Subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button. Don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time, guys.